Hello and welcome to LCDSeparatorMachines.com Alright, today we're going to take a look at one of these machines here. Uh, just a regular hot plate design. Uh, I'm going to test out the uh, display and see if that is all working. Turn it on. We're going to set the temperature to probably around 100. You, know, you can uh, use the buttons to make it go up or down. Um, we're just gonna wait till it warms up over here. See, as you notice, it's going up slowly, and you wanna wait till the machine is warmed up until you put the screen onto it, so it's hot enough to melt the glue. All right, now we're gonna use the gold wire to slowly see. See, you're in between the screen and the LCD over here and you're gonna go back and forth and slice right through that baby yep. you just do like a rocking motion uh, make sure you do it slowly and you do it one way don't go back and forth and what I mean by that don't go back up the screen you're gonna damage the LCD you have to go through like one pass only and uh, notice how we started off over here from all the way from the top and no, not where the cables are uh, you have to be very careful where the connectors are because those usually rip if you start from that end so I would suggest you do it from the other end instead alright so um, pretty much with this hot plate design it, it warms up the screen just hot enough not to damage it but to melt the glue a little bit so you can cut through it um, see the, the four clamps over here that's how we hold it down. If we didn't have those, the screen would slide right off once we pull on the wires. Now, this is a special wire. Now, you can't use regular fishing line or anything like that because that's going to break on you. Because the temperature is so hot, they're just going to melt and snap right off. This is this wire is like sort of metalish. It's uh, it's pretty strong, but. I've had it break on me quite a few, so you're probably going to need a couple feet at most. Maybe, like, you just buy enough if you're going to be doing these repairs a lot, because they tend to snap on you here and there. Now, see how we're careful over here at the end. That's what you're going to make sure you do. Nice and slow. Now, see, we, we run right out of it. Now we go back in. Make sure the wire isn't over the cables, because then you're going to cut them right off. It has to be underneath the cables. Now you're going back, back again, just like I said. You go one way down and one way back, now up and down. And at the same time, you're pulling back and forth. Uh, what I mean by that, you do left and right using the wire. The wire is usually attached uh, to these two plastic sticks. I'm not really sure what they're called. But you can you can probably buy them at anywhere. They usually come with the machine anyways, or with the wire if you buy that. See how LCD is getting pretty loose now, but it's, it's still not off. It takes Sometimes it, it takes a couple passes, sometimes it takes four. Now, sometimes you could just pull that LCD right off, but be careful. If it doesn't doesn't feel like it's coming off, don't pull too hard or you're going to end up breaking the LCD. All right. Here we go. Now, the screen is not cracked. It's just adhesive. I mean the LCD screen, not the glass screen. No, by the way, that adhesive is called LOCA. It stands for Liquid Optically Clear Adhesive. And it's tough. It's very tough. So a regular heat gun, you're not going to be able to do this right here. It's impossible to do it with a regular heat gun. You're going to end up damaging or breaking the LCD. Alright, right here we're cleaning up the adhesive. Uh, usually... 
over here we use uh we use this uh brand called goo off and uh, it's pretty good with removing adhesive we try other things like acetone that's pretty good too uh, alcohol is not strong enough you need something strong that's my point now you wanna let it soak in a little bit spread it out okay so we let it soak a little bit and you wanna gently scrape it off Now don't don't um carve into the LCD. You're just doing this very lightly. You're taking off the glue. Uh, this uh, adhesive is pretty strong, so you are going to need some pretty good uh, adhesive remover, or it's going to be pretty pretty hard. Uh, usually, if we either use a uh, like a sharp razor, or another trick that we found out is a playing card, a plastic, one of those plastic cheap dollar playing cards, that you can get a whole deck for for like a dollar. Those work pretty good as well. And you're probably better off using the plastic card if you're new at this, so you don't damage the LCD. This is just one of our professionals doing it. Uh, see and uh, see it comes out off like in a layer form over here. Yeah, so, like I was saying, you pretty much, you, you can't do these repairs without one of these machines. Uh, if you own a repair shop or it's your small business on the side that you're doing, you should invest in this. They're, they're not that expensive. Alright, so, over here we have cleaned everything off. Um, we usually like to use alcohol to make sure we don't there's no dust or anything on it to wipe it off before we put on the glue. Now this is the local glue being put on. Notice the pattern. It's a perfect pattern to put on to avoid any air bubbles. Now you're gonna need one of these orange molds. This uh, ensure, ensures that the screen fits right on it. Now if you don't have it, it's possible to still do the repair but it, it, might, it might dry off in a crooked way and it's not gonna fit, fit your uh, device. All right, so we put that onto the mold. All right, now we're gonna put on the new glass. Uh, this glass only costs us six dollars. So yeah, six dollars. A new 5S screen assembly is around thirty to forty dollars. So with this repair only costs us about six dollars plus a little bit of glue and the wire. Which, if you buy in bulk, is pretty much nothing. So your your profit margin is you're probably making twenty to thirty dollars extra, as yes, extra off a of repair. And that's a lot if you do these. If you do like ten of these a day, that adds up to big money. Now notice how we're sp we're spreading out the glue right here, carefully. You press, press, put a little pressure, not too hard. All right, now this glue only dries with UV light. It won't dry by itself. You can have it for days, and it's not going to dry. 
So if you do mess mess it up, if you don't put it on right or something, you can just take the glass right off it. Like if you find like a dust particle in there, a visible one, you can take that baby right off, and it's because it's not gonna dry. So uh, in our shop, we actually have a bunch of uh, UV nail dryers. Dryers. Uh, these dryers are pretty much the same thing as these lights. They're probably cheaper as well. Now and then you can actually put them inside as you would nails. So it's kind of like a holder inside and it's a lot more convenient than one of these lamps. But this lamp we just had around for right now. See? And it's already dry. Here we go. See how fast that was? What was it? That wasn't even that wasn't even like a minute. Dries very fast. Alright, make sure you guys visit lcdseparatormachines.com for more. Thank you.